Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today it's uh, Tuesday the 21st of March and yesterday we were trying out a machine for bedding down the cattle, tr trying out um, a straw machine and today we've got another one, something a bit different. Um, and I'm here with Chris from Teagle. Hi Chris. Hello. Hello. Um, so Chris, you've come over today from Teagle and we've had the, te the Tallyhawk out, we've just put it on the Manor 2. Um, just, could you just tell us a little bit about, about the machine? It's, um... It, this is the T2, which is the latest version of the Teagle Tomahawk. Uh, this has got a opening and closing front door so that you can self-load it much easier. Uh, it's simple to use. It will blow straw 30 to 40 foot to the back of a building so it doesn't put it all at the front. And having the swivel chute, you've got complete control over where uh, you're putting the straw. They're available with a whole series of brackets to fit all the uh, telescopic handlers. It's simple to use, uh, reliable and really good for most ways. Yeah, notice when we were just using it the chute seems to be really handy for getting into hard to reach places we can be a lot more precise um, when bedding the cattle down and it, yeah so it seems really good so far. Good. Um, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy using it and we'll be interested to see what you think of it at the end of the day. Thanks very much. Cheers, Chris. Thanks. thanks. A huge thanks to Chris there just showing us from Teagle, the Telehawk. We've got some bull pens to bed down, so we'll load it up with a bale of straw. We can drop the door down on it, just like a more conventional straw chopper, and then we can load up a bale. And then on the couplings, we've got two hydraulic couplings here, which just plug in to our usual Manitou couplings. You can have a free flow return if you wish to get a little bit more power, a little bit more throw out of the Teagle, uh, the Telehawk. However, today we are using just the two couplings. This is the pressure gauge, which tells us how much pressure we have. We want to be ideally in the middle of the green and we've got our bale now on. This is a hydraulic motor for the floor. This is the hydraulic motor for, which powers the drum on the chopper. And then you've got up there a small ram which powers the chute. And there's also a, another small motor up there for rotating the chute. And then on the side, this being the T2 version, this is all new, we've got a rear door, just like on the more conventional straw choppers. And you can release this stand here if you wish to drop the stand down when you're loading up a bale, which is quite handy as well. So we'll just put that back up. It can also be used as well as a stop to stop the bale from falling off. So the bales on the machine, it's, it's not gonna drop off and it's not, it's not gonna go anywhere basically, which is a really, really good idea. So looking at it there, one thing which surprises me is I know it looks really big. Once you get it up in the air, most of the weight is actually at the front. It doesn't feel too hot, too top heavy. Most of the weight is at the front end where your tally handler is then lifting up the weight. So it does feel really well balanced. Um, yeah, really, really good. So um, let's just go into the cab and, and I'll show you the small control box. So this is our control box here. This is how we control the Teagle. It talks to the Telehawk through Bluetooth. So if you'll see there, we've got our little light on, press on for the rest of the controls. We've got the belt forward and backwards for the chain, the chute control. Here is our speed for the bed, and this is the tailgate up and down. So in our settings on the Manitou, if we go into the auxiliary, we need to change the pump so that it pumps constantly on the hydraulics. So we can now do that. And as it does that, you'll hear the Telehawk start up. If we increase the revs on the command arm, We just reduce the revs a little bit. We can then take control of the spout and all of our other hydraulic functions. So I'll just reduce the revs because we only need a little bit of hydraulic flow to operate the chute. So you'll see there's the chute. It, will, it won't turn round to the cab. It's not gonna hit the cab. Um, we can turn it round, back round the other way on 
the joystick. 360 degrees. For our rotation, if we're bedding down the cattle, to be precise. All right, so I've just come up to some of our ball pens. These are quite difficult to reach. They're small, confined spaces. There's a small gap at the top, which we can get the shoot into. So if I, again, go on the hydraulics, then I can just put the chain on, adjust the spout a little bit, and get it exactly where we need to get it to. And then when we're ready, if we put the bed on, Got to remember all of this, here we go. On with the bed, and we can change our bed speed. Awesome. Turn the bed off, reduce our revs a little bit. Wow, what a job that has done. Cannot believe that. So turn the revs down. We'll just let it idle down. If I go onto the, again, auxiliaries, turn the hydraulics off. Wow, let's have a look at what job that's done. Wow, awesome bit of kit. Yeah, really, really good. What do you think about that, Hector? That's done a cracking job there. Great consistency. I've been able to put the straw at the back, all towards the wall, and yeah, we, we could be super precise um, with where we wanted to put the straw, which is quite interesting with the shoe. All right, and we've now just come into an area where it's a building which I can't get into with anything really. Um, it's like a cubby hole for some calves I'm rearing, and that using the chute, we can try to get some straw in there. And using the spout, if I adjust it to where that hole is, that shed, we can hopefully blow some straw in for some of my younger calves. In it goes. Okay, so if we reduce the revs, take the floor off, and then reduce the revs. And if I go into the settings, turn off our auxiliary. So we've still got a little bit of straw left. There's the rotors, there's the chute. And then here's some straw I've got to bed down some younger calves. All right, so you guys have come on this journey with me today, learning how to use the Tallyhawk. There's a lot to it, and I think it will take another couple of days to get used to it. It reminds me a lot of our old straw chopper. If any of you have watched the old day in the life of a farmer, we used to have a straw chopper on the farm. And this does remind me a lot of that. However, with this system, the straw chopper, the Tallyhawk is on the telehandler and it then frees the tractor up so I can use the tractor for another job, like grass herring or something like that at this time of the year. So it's quite flexible in, in that we're keeping it on the telehandler. I think it's real special talent is the shoot on the top. With the rotation and the angling as well, it was so handy in our ball pens to be able to angle and precisely put the straw just where we wanted it. One issue with some other spreading machines is, is just you want that accuracy. And this is gonna be super accurate, especially around some of our smaller yards where we've got, where we've got some cubby holes, some difficult to reach areas. I find myself sitting in one place with this telehawk. Um, so I can literally just sit in one place, shoot where I need to, and then drive off and, and go on to the next job. So it's quite handy having the 360 rotation on the top, which is quite handy. And if you have the free flow return, you can get up to a 45 foot reach, which is plenty of reach. That's really, really far. And yeah, super excited to see what it can do in some of our bigger sheds once I sort of start to get used to it. It's, it's been a real learning curve today with the Bluetooth control box, with the door, with the 360 shoot. It's all very new to me and it's gonna take, I think, a little bit of time to get used to it. But so far, I think for our farm, this could be really, really good and it could fit in 
um, like I say, around some of our older sheds. So leave a comment in the comment section um, what you think of the Teagle Talahawk. Do you think it's going to suit our farm for some of our older buildings and some of the new sheds we're going to put up next year? I think it will be brilliant for bedding down the cattle, especially with a, a deep litter system. It worked really, really well. So with that, thanks for watching. Stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one. And that is one happy bull. Click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to watch another Ollie's Farm video.